Hi there, and welcome to this week's downsizing.com.au weekly news wrap up. This week, the Retirement Living Council released the short list of projects which are in the running to be named as Australia's best retirement projects for 2021. You can find most of the projects on downsizing.com.au, including three vertical retirement villages, Aveo Carringdale in Brisbane, Australian Unities The Grace at South Melbourne, and RSL Life Care's Birdwood Park in Newcastle. The list also includes two Canberra projects, Len Lisa's The Ari and LDK's Greenway Views. Also included is Ingenia's Latitude One Land Lease Community at Port Stephens and Retire Australia's Glengarry Care Project on the New South Wales Central Coast. We look forward to the winners being crowned the best of the best at the Retirement Living Council's National Summit on the Gold Coast in November. Meanwhile, news out of Brisbane this week has underlined the strength of the local retirement living market. Aura Holdings has brought forward construction of the second stage of a luxury golf course retirement living community after securing solid apartment sales in the project's first stage. The project is located on the 36-hole Indrapilly Golf Course and will provide 88 apartments, including four penthouses with stunning views across the parkland course. Separately, Reside Communities has announced that the first stage of its Sanford Grove Retirement Village expansion is officially sold out, and as a result, have brought forward the construction of the project's second stage. Finally, forget about the Tokyo Olympics. The premier international sporting event right now is Ryman's Trans-Tasman Olympics competition. Residents from 42 retirement villages in New Zealand and Australia are battling it out right now for sporting glory with 104 different cyclists competing in a road racing competition that have so far covered 1,092 kilometres, equivalent to riding from Sydney to the Sunshine Coast, using only a stationary bike hooked up to a screen and a monitor. Wow. Among those who competed was 91-year-old Melbourne Retirement Village resident Rod Goods, a former Australian veteran cycling champion. Well, that's all that we've got time for this week. I'm Bruce Samazan. Stay safe wherever you are, and I look forward to seeing you on next week's show.